Okay guys, welcome back to another Food Trip Fridays. If you're new here, hi, my name is Carlos Crandang and this channel, I mean this video is just about eating food and today I'm here in Sawaki Ramen House as their chopsticks say and it's a Japanese restaurant that specializes in ramen and for today I just ordered a tonkotsu spicy ramen which tonkotsu is just basically pork broth but of course another twist to it is it's automatically spicy no need to add any chili powder and I, I hope it's spicy it's really spicy because I like you know I, I like the spicy food but let's see if I can bear it so I also got with me here some purple brew I don't know what it's what's inside it but it looks cool and let's uh, dig in and as here you can read in Japanese it says here itadakimasu which means well it doesn't mean anything it's just what they say before they eat so they say itadakimasu One more. Okay, right off the bat, good ramen. I saw earlier that some uh, Japanese people are already eating here, so that's sign of quality for Japanese people. This tonkatsu that they have, it's a bit creamy. I'm not sure if that's typical for tonkatsu. Don't quote me on this, I'm not really a professional, but from what I've eaten before, you know, in Japan, here in the Philippines, this is already good quality ramen. The uh, chashu, the pork that they have here, is very tender. And uh, it's actually, yeah, it's the spicy version, so it's just a tin, it's a bit spicy. Just just a very, very bit spicy. I'm just gonna add some uh, togarashi, which is uh, chili powder, because I still want it to be spicier. But yeah. The only thing I have is with this, and uh, it's not their fault because you know, even in Japan, not all of them uh, do it like this. But the egg is just a normal, uh, normal soft boiled egg, and usually I like mine to be uh, to have that chashu flavor with it as well. But this is also good. It balances nicely with the whole uh, dish, and see what else we can get from this. I have to say, I have to say the. Uh, this whole dish is already great. It's only 330 pesos. If you're Japanese, that's 660 yen around, and that's cheap for a Japanese uh, for a Japanese price. Then in dollars, that would be about six dollars six cents. And what else can I say about this? You know, like uh, oh, at least here in the Philippines, not all uh, ramen places. I mean, not when you order ramen, it doesn't always come with an egg. So it was lovely for me to go have an egg already, but it seems like it's just half an egg from what I can see here but uh, that's good I mean still enjoy it's still cheap and it's still high quality and for you for those of you who don't know though that you know wondering why I'm slurping that is how Japanese people eat ramen and you know what, be what better way to enjoy it than the Japanese way so here's to another slurp so it also comes with this uh, iconic Topping for a uh, ramen. It's called a Naruto. If you know the anime, this is basically what he's named after. It's just basically a fish cake from what I know, but I think it just doesn't taste like anything, but let's see. Yeah, it's just basic and nothing, nothing special. Good topping and it looks good, especially if it's uh, for kids who eat it. They'd uh, find it and enjoy it. Uh, they'd find it cool or whatever but you know just right now I'm just enjoying this whole meal I hope you guys enjoy it as well if you ever try go here in Angeles Pampanga just go to Sawaki Ramen House or in Japanese we say Sawaki Ramen Ya and oh you guys wanted to know the reason why they slurp is it's it's different there are different interpretations 
Some people say they slurp because uh, it'll let the chef know that you like food because usually you eat it in front of the chef. Or uh, for others, it's because the soup is, I mean, it's served very, very hot. So they slurp it to, uh, they slurp it to diffuse the heat right away. So here's to another shot. See that steam? I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of this, but it's lovely. I'm just enjoying this every bit of it. By the way, I haven't tried the the purple brew yet, so I'm gonna expect it's gonna be some kind of a blueberry flavor, but let's see. Yep, definitely just a blueberry drink I'm not I mean um, uh, I'm so and so with blueberry tastes good not the biggest fan but hey still enjoy good food and good drinks and one thing to comment about the uh, noodles though this my I'm not sure if everyone what's everyone's preference but the noodles they have here are kind of soft they serve it on the soft side it's not uh, the al dente kind when you get with the uh, usual uh, Italian pasta but it soaks up a lot of the flavor, so you know you can get up, you can combine them all in your mouth. So enjoy the whole experience, and I just want to take another bite. So go ahead. Um, gyoza, go on with this. See, gyoza is usually just a side dish to go with uh, when you're eating ramen. So usually you get uh, already a. a the sauce served with it, but apparently here you have to mix it on your own. And uh, it's gonna be the first time I'm gonna do this. It looks like it's just uh, soy sauce, vinegar, and some uh, oil. And I don't know, good luck to me, I guess. I guess this is uh, sesame seed oil, if it's you know, typical for a Asian restaurant. It is sesame seed oil, just put a little bit there. The sesame seed oil has a strong flavor. Oh, I'm already getting the snuffles because of this. And I love that. So let's go ahead and take a bite of the gyoza. Oh. Looking good gyoza though. Smells good. And here again. Mm. Very good. It takes away a lot of the savoriness of the ramen, which is good because I get to uh, enjoy ramen and you again. Really, really good. I'm not gonna say anything. I mean, I really only have to say good things about this. It's uh, especially for the price. It's one of the good, one of the better, you know, ramens I've had here. Though it's the first ramen I've had here in Angeles, Pampanga. Because um, I don't really go here that much, but I don't know about this place. It looked good. I had some authentic Japanese people eating here, and um, seems like it is good. And let me just uh, finish a bit more of this here. inside there. Oh, beautiful. So, if you guys noticed, you know, the way I ate the ramen, I usually had the soup. You know, I usually get the soup with this, soup drink. And I usually put pour the, uh, the noodles on the spoon before I eat it. That's, uh, I'm not gonna say that's like, you know, the only, the best way, but it's one way I learned from my Japanese friends when they were here. But there's really no, no one best way to do it. You see, how the, you saw the last part. I just got it all from the bowl. You can actually do that from the start. Not gonna be a problem. But you know, each to its own. The best way to eat it is the way you like to eat it, and whichever way you like to eat it is the best way you're gonna enjoy it. So 
I'm still waiting for some other orders here. I got some karaage and some chan coming up and I hope I don't move the camera that much so that the view is gonna be the same but let's see when we come back. And, and we're back here with the chahan and the karaage. If you don't know, karaage is just basically Japanese fried chicken. Usually they don't do anything special with it, just you know, deep fry. But sometimes it has some soy, ginger, garlic. This one, I don't know. It smells just normal, basic. And chahan is basically like a, it looks it looks like fried rice, but it's not. It's uh, like oh no, it is. Chahan is Japanese fried rice, basically. So it has some eggs, some uh, bit of some chashu pork that we had earlier for the uh, ramen. So it looks like it's gonna taste great. It has some pickles on top to diffuse the savoriness. So let's just dig right in. Another itadakimasu. For the karage itself, it tastes good. Not overpowering. It will go well if you know if you like like flavored food. Might go with some uh, mayonnaise here though. Got some mayonnaise with the uh, with the yogurtza. And I'll just put some off camera. <coughs> so you see how there's mayonnaise. Focus and take another bite. Being one of the newer dishes in Japanese cuisine, Kuraka doesn't have that much, uh, you know, rules in how to eat it or uh, what to eat it with. So usually I see just people eating it by itself with some soy sauce, with some uh, soy sauce mix, with mayonnaise, or with some uh, vegetables. I'm gonna eat it with the chaha. Huh? And just wanted to have you know separate opinions for it first. So now I'm just gonna try the chaha. Very meaty though, very meaty. I do taste some um, onions in it also. I'm usually a big fan of onions, but there's just something about chan that I don't get. But I, I believe it tastes good. It's just not my preference, probably. But let's give it another try with the uh, karage. I believe this is a good combination. Having the karaage gave me uh, a lighter flavor, diffuse the strength of the flavor of the chaham. It's good. Let me try the uh, karaage with the chan with some uh, Japanese mayonnaise. And for those of you who didn't know, who don't know, Japanese mayonnaise is different from uh, regular. American mayonnaise or I don't know, just, just the normal ladies choice or whatever brands you have there. Because Japanese mayonnaise is, uh, it has specifically Japanese ingredients which is usually the dashi. I'm not sure if it has soy sauce but dashi is really one of the biggest key components here which gives it on some umami taste. And let's just give it a try. Mm. Pickles have definitely help. With the mayonnaise, no, I just love mayonnaise, so I think I prefer it with rather than without. And it just uh, adds another level of complexity to the flavor profile of this whole meal. And if you were to ask me, I recommend first, of course, the ramen. But if you really want to eat rice, definitely try the shahan. Get some karage, get some gyoza to eat with it. Unless if you just like you know rice, fried rice, then hey, you're gonna enjoy it. And I guess this is the last bite for me. Good. Really good. And check out any last uh, lingering flavors. Get some pickles. <laughs> I forget what kind of pickles these are. I think it's pickled ginger. Tastes like it. But I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, just uh, please inform me down below in the comment section. And here's to the end of the video. Just one more sip of the purple brew. Yep. 
definitely a good experience. If ever you guys find yourself in Angeles, Pampanga, definitely go here to Sawa Ki Ramen Ya or Ramen Restaurant. A ramen house, sorry, ramen house. And give yourself a good meal. Looking for Japanese food, they have for you. Just uh, just make sure to go to the ramen house because just beside them is a uh, yeah, is a yakitori house, which is uh, all grilled food. You might also like it. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe next time. Who knows? But that's basically it. So this was another food trip Friday by Cars Grandem. Me. If you like the video, please hit like down below. It's a thumbs up button. And again, if you have any comments, suggestions, any you know violent reactions, just comment it down below. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I need uh, all the love I can get right now. And if you want to see, be notified for my videos, just hit the notification bell down below. This looks like a little bell icon. And YouTube's gonna take care of all the notifications of my future videos straight to you. And see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.